Hi friends, today we are discussing the one more concept HT cables. Uh, why we are using these cables? The current carrying purpose we are using this cable in overhead as well as underground we are using this cable. In overhead what are the uh, material we are using? In underground what are the material you are using? We are discussing. First, if you go for the uh, overhead transmission line, if you go for the overhead transmission line, in this overhead transmission line, first you are using a conductor. First, you are using the current carrying purpose. We are using a conductors. These are the conductors. Current carrying purpose. We are using a conductors. Second one is the line supporters. Second one is the line supporters. Second one is the line supporters. In this line supporters, towers and poles. Towers in transmission levels we are using, poles in distribution level we are using. Third one is the insulations. Third one is the insulation. Third one is the insulations we are using. These are all using in overhead transmission line. The in overhead transmission line. The current carrying purpose we are using these things in underground in underground current carrying purpose we are using for cable in underground in underground current carrying purpose we are using cable current carrying purpose we are using in cable in this cable what are the layers is there we are discussing first layer is the core Second one is the insulation. Third one is the metallic sheet. Fourth one is the bedding. Fifth one is the armosing. Sixth one is the servicing. These three we called as electrical characteristics. Remaining three is called as mechanical characteristics. Mechanical characteristics have. The top level three have the electrical characteristics. Uh, down three is the mechanical characteristics have. One by one we are discussing. First, if you go for the core, in this underground cable, in this underground cable, the core we are using for current carrying purpose, we are using in this cable. What are the types of uh, cores is there? Solid core, standard conductor, composite standard conductor. In this area, this is the solid conductor. This is the Standard, this is the standard conductor, this is the solid conductor, this is the composite standard conductor. These are all stands we can made up with the aluminum. This top we are made up with aluminum. Inside we are made up with uh, different different items. Uh, two metals we are using in this composite standard conductor. The standard conductor we are using all stands we are, we are using aluminum. These standard conductors were employed in this core area. Second one. Second one is the insulation. The second one is the insulation. The mainly the insulation we are using to stop to protect the leakage current from surface of the conductor to ground. Surface of the conductor to ground uh, leakage current stopping purpose only we are using this insulation. We are using this insulation. In this insulation, have some characteristics is required. One is the in this insulation have high dielectric. The dielectric strength is high. The dielectric strength is high means the thickness of the insulation is less. Second one is in this resistance have in this uh, resistance have high resistivity material. High resistivity material means it uh, it will stop that leakage current. Third one is the this uh, material compulsory should have non hydroscopic material non hydroscopic material fourth one is called free from the impurities free from the impurities these are all four characteristics have that insulations these are the four characteristics have that insulations what basically we are using what are the uh, what are the types of insulations is there organized rubbers impregnated papers 
PVC, XLPE. These are the types of insulations we are using in this area. Mainly uh, HT purpose we are using PVC and XLPV insulations they are recommended in this area. Next if you go for the metallic sheet, third one is called metallic sheet. Third one is called metallic sheet. The use of this metallic sheet protection for the insulation. Protection for the insulation. How it will protection? Some outside, uh, some uh, moisture is entering into the, this insulation. The insulation will damage it. So that the insulation is not entering into this moisture with the help of this metallic sheet. With the help of this metallic sheet, moisture not enter into the, this insulation. The insulation, purpose, insulation protection purpose we are using this metallic sheet. Fourth one is called bedding. Fourth one is bedding. Fourth one is called bedding. The bedding uh, purpose is only the mechanical, the mechanical stress, the external mechanical stress protection purpose we are using in this bedding. Fifth one is called armosing. Fifth one is called armosing. The use of this armosing, the external mechanical damages, the external mechanical damages protection purpose we are using in this armos in this armosing. Sixth one is called servicing. Sixth one is called servicing. The protection for armosing. The protection for the armosing purpose we are using this service. This we can made up with the fiber material. This we can made up of fiber material. How to protect this armos in servicing means basically this is the metal item. Basically this is the metal item. It's uh, outside moisture enter into this metal, uh, uh, touch this metallic material. Uh, corrosion will happening. So that that purpose, that protection purpose, this servicing layer is useful. In this layer, we are made up with fiber material. In this layer, we are made up with a fiber material. These are all the layers. Next, if you go for the, this is the core. In this core radius is the smaller. This is radius is the cable radius. This is the thickness. This is the thickness. This is the cable. The length of the cable. Total overall R is equal to overall R is equal to small r plus 3. Capital R is nothing but the radius of the cable. Small r is nothing but the radius of the core. This T is nothing but the thickness of the insulation. This L is called length of the cable. Length of the cable. Length of the cable. Next, what are the disadvantages is there we are using in this cable compared to overhead transmission line? The first disadvantage is the same operating voltage, same current carrying capacity. But the cross-sectional area is more in cable compared to overhead. The cross-sectional area is more means cost is more. This is the one disadvantage. Second one is the, the cable is uh, throughout of this length of the cable we are using a insulation. So cost is more. But in overhead we cannot throughout of the cable. Throughout of the conductor, we cannot use the insulation. Cost is more. The overall uh, diameter cost is more. The insulation cost is more. The overall cost, the overall cable cost is more compared to overhead transmission line. The cap uh, now the cable is the it like uh, treated as a capacitor. The two sheets is there treated as a capacitor. The length of the cable is increasing. The capacitance per kilometer is increasing. Obviously, the inside of the charging current per kilometer is also is increasing. The length of the cable is increasing means increasing. The inside charging current per kilometer is also is increasing. The inside high voltage was developing so that the cable we cannot recommend more than 50 kilometers. We are using up to 50 kilometers only we are using in this cable. And one more disadvantage is the fault identification is very difficult in cable. 
compared to overhead. This cable was lying in the underground. The cable was lying in the underground. Every uh, 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers, they are kept in a junction boxes. The continuity problem has came. They are going to that junction box. We will find out in case short circuit is happening inside of the cable. The fault identification is very difficult. We can identify, but identification is very difficult compared to overhead transmission line. These uh, uh, HT cables up to 11 and 33 kV we recommended for only uh, industries up to 11 kV 33 kV industries they are using in this cable up to 5 to 10 kilometers. Second one is the rich rich areas rich people areas they are using this cable in underground why because uh, the overhead transmission line is going that richest area looking is not good the cost is more also they recommended in underground cable that purpose only we are using this underground cable 